on guys so I have some pretty exciting news and by exciting news I mean horrible news that is totally horrible and it sucks pretty bad but we're gonna get over it and we're gonna deal with it so I don't know if you guys remember me telling you in some of my previous videos that there's some stuff going on with the truck you know I didn't know exactly what it was there was oil in my coolant um, which is a big sign that my oil cooler is toasted which could mean that a few other things are toasted it just depends so I went to my diesel guy yesterday let him look at the truck, looked at a few things, you know, plugged in his computer and saw everything that was going on with the truck. So basically I'm going to have to tear down the whole engine of the truck. The only way to tell is to get in there, tear down the truck, see what everything looks like, see what's broken. If this is there, there's water here, oil here, coolant there, whatever it is, you know. That is where we're at now. The truck is parked in the driveway. It's staying there. First things first, we're going to pull off the turbo. We got to crack open that turbo, clean it up a bit, get all that gunk out of there. You know, assess the blades, make sure they're okay, not chipped and, you know, all messed up. Make sure there's no play. Make sure there's no, you know, make sure overall everything is working as it should. Give it a nice little clean up. Then we're going to go down a little farther and pull off some more stuff. Basically, I already know the oil cooler is shot, but what I don't know is the condition of the EGR. The easiest way to put it is if my EGR is completely fine, then my head gaskets are blown and if they are blown they're blown really bad and it might not be as easy as replacing the gaskets it might have to be you know machining the head or a whole new head altogether or worst case scenario a whole new block which would really really suck and I'm really hoping that is not the case we're having a positive outlook positive mindset we're gonna go ahead and get started this is gonna take a while to do you know it's not gonna be a one-day thing especially because I don't know what I'm doing you know while we're in there we're also gonna check and see what's up with the AC the compressor might be shot um, we did a little testing before we did a little testing with my diesel guy I know what to do when I get in there so that's pretty much where we're at six point blow so before we get started usually when I do videos working on cars or whatever I'll record the whole thing and speed up a bunch of stuff this is gonna be almost too much stuff. Like, there's no way I can make it interesting. Like, it's just a bunch of little nuts and bolts and, you know, all this stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn some music on, blast some music, get me hyped up, and just go try to tackle it. And then every so often, you know, once I'm about to pull out the turbo, I'll, I'll film it. You know, once I get to the EGR, I'll film it. Once I get to the oil cooler, I'll film it. Once I start messing with the AC, I'll film it, you know, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty much it. I am trying to be really excited about this. This is an opportunity for me to learn and work on diesels because this is something I've never touched before and I never thought I would touch. I think once I get this done and I finish it and the truck's running good, I'll be very confident enough to work on some future diesel projects, which I have in mind. And I'm just, I'm just really excited. There's nothing more to say. Let's just blast some music and get to it, right? Let's pop the hood on this bad boy. Here she is. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull this whole intake out right here. Goes from here all the way connect to the turbo. Turbo is the second thing I'm going to pull out. And then if I get up here, can't really see it, but somewhere down there is the EGR. That's the main thing I'm worried about. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and I'll update you guys once I get to a point where I feel like I've got at least something done. All right, here's a little update. We pulled the intake out, super easy. Pulled this charge cooler pipe out, super easy. Um, there is an oil line I just pulled out. All this stuff is relatively easy. I also took off the uh, the degas can and tilted it so I can get around it. Turbo's right there, fat. So basically all that's left to do is undo this clamp back here. I think there's a couple bolts down there that hold it on, a couple bolts down there that hold it on, and uh, should come loose and get out of here. The only thing to note, if anyone's curious, oh, there's another clamp way back here too. There's a bolt way down here that I've heard of, and I haven't seen it yet, and I haven't got to it yet, and I'm kind of scared to go for it because people get stuck on that bolt for like hours. So, <laughs> I hope I don't. Um, the other thing is, when I'm working on this, I've got a step ladder here, and I got a towel here so I can put my knees on it. It's a lot different than a car. You have to be on the engine to work on it. It's pretty insane. So like my knees are kind of aching right now, but it's all good. So when I go to pull this turbo out, it's heavy. Like this is, it's not a small turbo, like it's a big turbo. It's heavy and I don't have good leverage, so this should be pretty fun. But when I go to pull it out, I'll set up the tripod so you guys can see what's going on, but we're making good progress. Here she is, 
turbo. That thing's like huge. Heavy as hell too to get out. So the last bolt that I was talking about that I was scared of is this one back here. And the reason why I was scared of it is because the turbo sits right here. So to, you can't see it. So what I had to do is reach my hand around the turbo this way and then reach my other hand around the turbo this way and I was actually able to feel it and I was able to shove this in there. Thankfully, I have an 06 so this bolt right here is flat which makes it a lot easier to get to than the previous generations where this bolt was looked the same as this but over here and that is a pain in the ass to get to so I'm thankful to have an 06. So what I think I'm gonna do now is crack this open. Alright, I'm not sure how well you guys can see from this angle but I'm pretty limited on space to set up the camera in here. But, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and crack open this turbo right now. First thing we're gonna do is take off this V-band clamp. Okay, so here's problem number one. Um, this, right here, this ring, is supposed to turn freely and you can clearly see it's, it's not budging at all. So that's not good. So this I can already feel is all gunked up, like nasty, nasty, nasty. These ones on this side, a little smoother. You know, these ones probably are working fine. These ones on the other hand are a little rough. But we'll see once I clean them down if there's any pitting or anything like that. If there is pitting, might as well just get a new turbo. Um, this, once I get it off, I should be able to just clean it and it should turn. Still doesn't want to go on there nice and easy. Look at this little pip squeak. Can you say what's up? Seeing how a real man works on a truck. I got respect. All right, okay, I'll take I that. I wouldn't do that. I'll take that. I would anything with my truck, like motor-wise, I'd take it to the shop. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to pay. Anyways, let me do an update real quick. So the turbo, I'm probably just getting a new turbo because that junk is gunked up like crazy. But uh, the EGR is right here. This long thing. That's the main thing I gotta check. Oil cooler is right down there. That's the thing I for sure have to replace. And those two things will tell me if I have to replace the head gaskets or not. So, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here for today. I'm pretty happy with myself. I got the turbo out no problem. And it didn't take long at all. That turbo is really gunked up. And I tried just cleaning it down real quick. And that ring is still sticking. And I'm pretty sure, like I'm 95% sure it's supposed to spin freely. Or at least easier than it does now. Not completely stick. I also think I see some pitting where the veins are, that's not good. So I'm just gonna end up buying an 03 turbo. They're pretty cheap, I could probably pick one up for less than 500 bucks. As far as the oil cooler and the EGR go, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. I haven't ordered any parts yet, so I can't really continue going further until I get an oil cooler. What I can do is go ahead and check and see if the EGR is looks good or bad or whatever. I wanna do a little more research and look up some videos on how to do it before I go ahead and get to work on it because I just want to make sure I have a good idea of what I'm doing before I just jump into it. Other than that, so far so good. We're doing good. Super happy with the progress today. I'm going to end it on that note. Hopefully we can have this truck back up and running in no time. Actually, I know we'll have this truck back up and running in no time. So leave a like on the video. It helped me a lot. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If any of you 6.0 guys out there know anything, you know, let me know if I missed something or what does that turbo look like to you guys? Can I, can I clean it up and sell it, you know? What, what do you guys think? Because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Why they want to be me? It's not what it seems. Running to the bank, putting wet on my Achilles. We've been thumbing blue faces like they Washington's. From MIA up to Washington.